What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A bit of a different video today. Something that I think is very important. Something that just happened to me. I want to put this video together because hopefully it might actually save your life or a loved one's life. In fact, we're going to be talking about this right here. That's right. Yeah, we've rented this Jeep Compass behind me from a company. I'm going to leave their name out of it for the time being. I don't want to get them in trouble. I do want to bring it to their attention, though, when we drop it off. There is something structurally wrong with this. I, I cannot imagine that they would have done it intentionally, but pretty crazy what we found. Structural damage, pretty crazy definitely life-threatening if you were in an accident without rambling on we're gonna get into it let's go let's have a discussion show you what i found mustang is looking great as always but today we're talking about this right over here i just want to make this a quick video something that will keep you safe beautiful like uh what is it? suv crossover i'm mostly a muscle and sports car channel for everybody that's new if you like stuff like that crazy horsepower cars i mean this might be your channel there's really something for everybody here this is a jeep compass i think it's like a 2018 or 19 model it's pretty new it's got 17,000 miles we rented it like i was saying to go pick up my uh my child so walk around here real quick just uh pay attention to what you're looking at now something crazy on here so what we want to do is get out of the neighborhood to go for a little short drive because we got to fill it up with gas take it back to the rental car company and uh, get rid of this thing and bring to their attention that they probably don't want to rent this vehicle out anymore without taking it to a body shop, a collision repair company somewhere. So let's get in the uh, Jeep here and go for a ride. So we go to pick up the thing and you know, you always want to do, like I was saying, a walk around, something like that. And then you mark off any damage. It's got to be like, you know, a spot or scratch is bigger than like, you know, this or whatever. They got measuring tools and all of that. But, you know, I didn't find anything. You know, I'm pretty thorough when it comes to stuff like this, you know, especially like vehicles, because that's kind of my passion, right? It's an automotive YouTube channel. So, you know, we'd like to pay attention to detail, being prior military and all that stuff. You know, just att attention to detail is something that's kind of second nature. But there was something that was really hidden that I actually didn't catch. So definitely one of those I would ask that you stick around, watch uh, as much of the video as possible. Share with your friends and family because like I was saying, it might save you or their lives. I'd like you to please, if you can, share this video around the internet. Give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. I don't care. Comment down below. Maybe you've been to the same kind of situation or you know just basically tell us your story we drove three hours away picked up my daughter on the way back we stopped to fill up the gas tank and then we were walking out and wifey comes up to the front of the vehicle and she's like oh my gosh alex did you see this why is this pushed in like that and i was like what in the world are you talking about what's wrong with the thing we walked around the vehicle and i found a couple of things just so that we're not held liable that's very important is because you know if you're not using their insurance, if you're using your own, you know, you can be held liable for stuff that you miss and you have to argue about it later. But we walked up to it and she pointed her finger directly at it. Very, very good eye. I didn't even see it. And you have to kind of be at a distance at the right angle to actually notice it. But when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, we got to make a phone call to the uh, the company that we rented from and let them know that either this happened behind their back or I can't imagine that this happened from the factory. Something just absolutely crazy. This vehicle they're riding in right now, notice I'm by myself, so I'm risking it, is structurally compromised. If I were to get into a front end collision right now, it, I mean, yes, I would be hurt, you know, regardless of the situation, which I'm about to show you when we pull up here to the side of the road. But what's wrong with the front of this thing right now is that I wouldn't even stand a chance, I don't think. It would be, uh, I mean, there's there's no really other way to explain this to you other than pull up here to the side of the road and show you. I appreciate everybody watching the videos out there. Um, definitely comment down below what you think about what I'm gonna show you. Don't let this happen to you, please. I hope that you would watch this video. Take it to heart. It might actually save your life, your loved one's life. Very, very important. Do a little walk around, show you what I found. So, all right. Maybe a bit windy out here, I apologize. But like I was saying, me doing this is also just uh, protecting myself in the future because when we drop this off, this better not come back on me. I don't want to be held liable for this since I didn't do it. But it was windy, I'm sorry. It looks good. The only thing 
ones I can really find are there is a couple of like uh, scratches back here on the bumper, stuff like that. But I mean, inside you got some room. It's just nice. But looking for damage. Yeah, road trip. So nice vehicle, but this is what we found right up here, front bumper. And it's interesting. I can't believe that my wife actually caught this. Look right in there. See what I'm looking at here? It's a little off to dead center. It's a little more to the left, but that is the crash bar. Now, let me take a step back and look at the front fascia of this thing. It looks pretty much brand new untouched, right? But get up here and then that is the crash bar. I can put my hand in here and feel the space. Right here, there's a lip. This crash bar should live inside of this plastic right here, but it doesn't. It's been pushed in like it's had some kind of a major front end impact here, but there's no signs of damage anywhere else on this thing. That's really crazy. And I'm gonna tell you why exactly that's so crazy. Let's get out of the wind. It's crazy because rental car companies, they don't, they, they don't rent out stuff that's broken like that. So my only, my thought, my thought process is that they just don't know. But how, how would somebody not know about that? Let's pretend for a second that this thing was in a front end collision and it crushed in the front crash bar right there, which is uh, it's structure damage, right? It's part of the frame. It's there to keep you safe. Well, with that being pushed in like that, that compromises the integrity of the vehicle. In the event of a crash, a front end collision, if it were straight like it's supposed to be from the factory, you know, that helps to save your life, correct? Well, what happens when it's compromised already? So it's not gonna be able to take the, the, the initial force from the impact. So your life is more gonna be more in jeopardy, I guess if that makes sense, than it would be if it were straight. Does that tote a lot of vehicle? Mm, no, not really. Uh, is that significant enough to deploy airbags? I, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. Let me know in the comments. I mean, can you crush in a crash bar like that? and uh you know it did not deploy airbags but the thing drives perfectly it drives like it's brand new and got zero miles on it i mean it's great my thought process is that somebody has rented this there's really three different ways two or three different ways that this could happen uh and be repaired like this so somebody rented this went out of their way maybe out of pocket or whatever to go fix the vehicle right and the crash bar is kind of hidden unless you're really paying attention to it and uh, nobody was the wiser. Nobody caught on and whoever rented this before got away with it. Um, or, you know, maybe it was, you know, reported. They sent it off to a body shop and somebody did not replace a crash bar, which is really, really insane to think about. This is part of the frame, the structure, the integrity of the vehicle that has been completely neglected. Or third option is it came from the factory this way because I think we can rule number one out because let's pretend that I was trying to get away with it and I had a front end impact with this thing and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want this to go on my you know, driving record or I don't want my insurance to be impacted or whatever. So I go resource the parts, all of the right parts to put this thing back together, possibly hood, definitely front fascia, all the plastic trim, everything, right? And I put it back together and uh, nobody's the wiser. That's a lot of money out of pocket. I would think that that's probably an unrealistic approach to turning in the vehicle to save yourself. Second option is that there was an accident reported, which is interesting because when we called the company, they had no clue about any of this. They had no idea. They had notated that the vehicle had a couple of scratches here and there, but nothing significant like that. I mean, that makes this vehicle, should make it pretty much unrentable. I would like to think that, <sighs> It kind of rules out the second option too, because why would the rental car company knowingly put, you know, a family in jeopardy like that and uh, potentially, 
you know, really putting them in danger. I mean, potentially putting them in danger more so than they would be normally. Third option, did it come from the factory like that? I mean, I've seen some crazy stuff. I would like to say that that's pretty much unrealistic as well. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I think it's pretty crazy what we found. And, uh, you know, good on Wifey to actually catch that out of the corner of her eye when she was approaching the vehicle head on from the gas station. But, you know, I had no other option than to make the, uh, the additional three-hour drive back so that we can get rid of this thing. Uh, we're back home safely anyway, so yeah, I just made sure to keep distance away from, you know, other cars as much as possible on the highway. Yeah, I know, I get it. Maybe I'm just griping and complaining, but I mean, honestly, I got my 10-year-old my daughter, I got my wife, I got all the, you know, my family with me. And uh, it's kind of a big deal because if we were to get into an accident, like I was saying, you know, our chances of uh, walking away from it unharmed would be less. Um, than if, you know, the crash bar was indeed, you need to understand that the crash bar sits on a frame like this. So when it's dented in V'd like that, that means that, that frame could be caddied like this, if that makes sense, kind of like that. Um, so the structure of this thing is not sound by any stretch of imagination. So something I'm definitely going to bring up to the rental car company when we drop it off here in just a minute. I don't know if I'm gonna film any of that or not, but I just wanna really make them aware that they need to get this thing off of the road until they, they do some research and figure out what happened and then fix it. And uh, I'd hate for somebody to rent this and they get into an accident and really get hurt. This is kind of my takeaway uh, that I'd like to share with you is that if you're going to rent a vehicle, make sure that you, yes, one, do a thorough walk around, but also get nitty gritty with the thing. You could be held liable and or worse, you know, the vehicle uh, might actually hurt you. When you pick up a vehicle and you didn't even know that it was already like in a collision somehow and it hasn't been fixed properly, it's kind of a big deal. If you could please share this around the internet, like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts. Uh, I know it's kind of a talking head video, but this is it's more for your safety than anything else. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be safe out there. I'll see you guys next video. Take care.